Hey guys, RC here, back with the season wrap-up for our first season. Uh, we'll just kind of tack this on to the next episode, depending on how long it is. So uh, we'll go in and look at the uh, tournament and everything here, just to wrap everything up. But Chris Mack was the coach of the year at Louisville. Jason Sanders, the freshman of the year from K-State. 21.1 points per game, 4.2 assists, 4.1 rebounds. Uh, Frank East, Defensive Player out of the Year out of North Carolina. He also won Player of the Year honors, 20, almost 24 points a game, 14 and a half boards, 4.2 blocks, very dominant for the Tar Heels. Jonas Thornton, the most outstanding player, the center from Louisville, 14.6, 12.1 boards, and Frank East won the Norton Award. Now, the Norton Award, remember, all these are from Wolverine Studios, so I'm assuming that that is similar to the Heisman Trophy. I don't follow basketball that closely, so I don't know what all the awards are, but I'm assuming that that's not the real name, and I'm assuming that's similar to the Heisman in football where, as the, the best player. Uh, so anyway, we will continue. Uh, actually, can I get out of here? I cannot. Oh, I guess let's look at the Patriot League because that's our conference. See if we won anything. Let's see. Bucknell, Holy Cross. All right. Nothing there for us. Colgate, Loyola, American, Colgate, Army, Navy, Chris Austin, second team all conference. There we go. Our, our young center. I believe he's a freshman from what I remember. 10.9 points. I haven't recorded this in about a week. Uh, I tend to record in bulk. Uh, usually on Saturdays I record in bulk and uh, usually get about a week ahead, especially on this series because I'm just trying to stay ahead on this so I can continue to put out you know two episodes a week for you guys. Uh, anyway, so that's good. We are not to the end of recruiting yet so what we'll do is we'll take a quick break while this runs and i'll be back with any end of season stuff that we can look at well we do get an email from our athletic director win 10 games or more we succeeded now let's do better finish in the top three we failed try to get them next year coach so one out of two Let's just jump into the coaching jobs, because remember, this is a journeyman save. Now, I don't think I've done well enough to really garner any attention, but let's see how that works. All right, so let's hit the advance button. Uh, so, yeah, we only want head coaching jobs. Oh, Northern Kentucky on probation, you bad boys. Uh, we do have Lafayette here in the Patriot League, high point. Coastal Carolina and the Sun Belt and Central Arkansas in the Southland Conference. Central Arkansas has a six prestige. Coastal Carolina is a 20. High Point 18. Lafayette is a 13. And Navy is a, does it tell me anywhere? Head coach, yeah, I'd, we've got to be somewhere. Standings, maybe? Oh, well. Oh, school info. It's got to be there, right? Oh, prestige is 13. There we are. There we are. Non-conference rival. Do we have a rival out of conference? Well, Army's in conference. It's got to be Air Force gotta be right commander's cup all that other stuff i'm partial to air force that's the branch my dad served in all right uh anyway so let's see let's go back to advance i don't think i'm gonna apply for any jobs guys i'm not going to if you know if you if you've played ahead more than i have because i just finished my first season in the game if you can get contacted about a job, let me know. Because I think that's one of the things I do in Football Manager is sometimes when I play, I will make it a like a house rule that I have to be approached for a job. So doesn't make sense to do that if it's not a possibility, right? But uh, we're going to skip the round. All right, Florida A&M. 
So they've got an eight, but that's a drop back. The Norsemen. We're going to skip that round. Oh, they hired a coach. Central Arkansas and Lafayette still in it. Central Arkansas, the last club. I think they're like one of the lowest prestige jobs in the country. All right, well, you know what? We're going to advance. We're still waiting on that final scholarship offer to come in, though. That's the end of the month. So we're a couple of weeks away. All right, season review, staff hiring. All right, so let's jump into that. Let's delete all the emails. Let's take a look at our staff. There we are. All right, so I've got Emmett Davis. He's good at defense, and he is my recruiter. Offense and defense is a one, and scouting is a one. So if I could upgrade, here's my ink pen. All right, so scouting is a one, and he's making 11K. And then practice is a one, one, offense and defense, and he's making 30K. All right, so let's go back to the coaches. And I am interested in scouting first of all so i do have this guy jp piper 12 years experience 31 is his rating but he's going to want 17 to 53 a year okay this is something i don't like i can tell you right away so i've been playing a lot of these games for a long time an example i'm going to compare it to bowl bound college football I hate to do that to Gary, but he knows that's my favorite game of all time from a sports simulation standpoint. But real life, think about real life. You're the boss, right? You want to hire somebody. Are you going to fire an employee before you have their replacement lined up? Of course not, because what happens if you don't find somebody? then you're going to want to keep that guy and you're not going to want to tell him, oh, I might fire you. That's what, you know, when people get fired, it's, hey, we're letting you go. And then they've already got the replacement lined up for the most part. You know, if it's not for just, you know, something unethical or just horrible performance. So, but it looks like I've got to fire my existing coach in order to even offer him the job. In bowl bound, for example, you can have an assistant coach, you can make an offer, and the game will automatically, if he's hired, will bump the other player. And I also do a lot of football manager videos, and that's something they've changed recently. You used to have to uh, bump them out, fire them, but now you'll actually, once you make the offer, if the coach accepts the offer, you'll get an email and go, well, you already have a coach at that job. Do you want to replace him with this new guy? And then you can confirm, and which will fire the existing coach, hire the new coach, or you can cancel it, which will pull the, pull the contract offer to the potential new coach. So I think that is realistic and makes sense. The fact that I would have to fire somebody and then what if this guy does, you know, okay, I can afford 17, but what happens if he wants 42 for the same job that I'm paying the guy 11,000 for, right? I can't do that. So I do like that it gives you a range and I guess that's better than nothing. But yeah, so we're going to cancel this. I can't, I'm not going to be able to afford new coaches. All right, I'm looking for... I guess we just hit advance. There we go. And, oh, okay. So we had to get back into this screen. All right. So we're going to finish and advance. Your total budget needs to include your recruiting cost. So just a reminder, don't max out. This is your recruiting as well. So you have to make the decision how much you want for recruiting. But I'm not going to offer any coaches this year. So we'll come back at the end of this. 
All right, let's check our inbox. Meeting with the board. Uh-oh. Well, you know, I'm not I'm not in trouble, right? They haven't So our job security is 100%, right? So I don't think I need to ask for more time. Our budget was okay for our level. You know what? I'm not going to ask for anything. Well, let's 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 ask them to upgrade the facilities, I suppose. Uh, the request surprisingly was denied not surprisingly and we have reached the end of the season all right so we're at april 30th now did we so we did not get our third recruit neither one that guy did not sign with us that sucks balls i don't think let's see roster freshman 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 so they this hasn't addressed yet all right well let's see what happens all right chris austin is now a sophomore so kyle smith zach benton we only got two of our three recruits that's disappointing but look at that zach benton is three and a half stars four star potential and he's a freshman that's the that's the guy that we recruited that five eight freshman, uh, so he, guess who's starting this year, buddy? And also our other freshman was Kyle Smith. Now he's a three, two star current, four three and a half, so he's just as good as Welch long term, but he's third on the depth chart. I'd like to redshirt him if we could. But I haven't redshirted anybody. I don't know what that does for them moving. But let's check out. All right. Looking to skip, get right to the season. I might do that this year, guys. Just to try it out. Just to see what it does. I think we're gonna. Call it a science experiment. I just want to see how good the recruiting is. But let's look at the other emails. All right. So that gives us scheduling, budget. We have six scholarships. Holy shit. Do I really want to let the computer do that? Yes, I do. I do. Well, God, maybe I don't. All right, we're picked number 246 in the nation. And Vermont has moved to the Big East, and New Mexico State goes to the West Coast Conference. Alerts six scholarships I am curious at how good the AI is so we saw my first year in recruiting I had never recruit I haven't recruited since college draft day sports 17 I think it's been a couple of years so I don't think that was bad for out of the shoot but let's see how the AI does let's skip the summer so we'll be back in a second. All right, we're back. So we may not get to any matches this or any matches, any games this episode. But what we're going to do is kind of progress through the off season. So I simmed ahead. Uh, I did defer to the AI for the summer. So you can see we're up to November 13th. So if we look through here, Arthur Williams has committed. And I'm just kind of looking through. So you can see like we did last year, uh, they're still doing home visits with him. So uh, practice begins. If you do skip the season, so remember, this is in early October. So we have a month and about a week and a half. So about five and a half weeks of practice. If you're going to tweak your practice plan, do that before you advance and remember to hit save. We talked about that last year. So last year we had gone in towards the end of the season and we had added in some Princeton offense at 15% and we've got it set to 20% usage, right? So just a reminder, uh, let's see, anybody else? Season begins on the 13th. All right, so here's, let's start from backwards. There we go. All right, so players transferring. Transfer session. 
the pro draft. I guess we don't need to worry about anybody doing that. Ray Brewer went number one uh, out of Kentucky. Kansas forward Bernard Dodson went number two. Jonas Thornton out of Louisville went third. Frank East went fourth, the big center out of North Carolina. And Jeremy White out of Louisville went number five. All right, any small schools in there? We got a Nova player, not really a small school. Xavier, Butler, Marquette, TCU at number 20, Belmont number 21. God, the Runner Rebels of UNLV, man. That was a fun team to watch back in the day. All right, there's four players that transfer. All right, we've got some campus visits. Recruiting begins. I'm just looking for anything that jumps out as something. All right, Norton candidates. Alan Agby from Virginia. J Jason Dodson from uh, that school down south. Joe Cly Kluwer, I'm going to go with Kluwer, Kentucky, Ricky Lee out of Duke, Stevie Wells out of Nova, and anybody, I don't see any Navy people in there, all right, more campus visits, all right, Jimmy Marshall is going to come to our school, Chris Odie is going to come to, oh, he's going to go to Maryland, Baltimore County, all right, so he turns on us. JT Morrison chooses our school. Arthur Williams chooses our school. All right, so we're going to delete all of these. So let's do a little catch up and housekeeping now. Hello, delete all emails. Thank you. All right, so let's go to my office. Don't want to change anything there. All right, let's look at the recruit players first. Uh, I do want to look at... Committed players, committed players, full recruit list, anyone contacted, call and watch list, recruits offered. All right, so there's, I think this is our three guys. So Arthur Williams is a two guard, uh, six foot two. He looks pretty good. I've already looked at him. Uh, location was his big thing. Good outside shooter. He can shoot free throws, big score. And he can play defense, and he's very athletic. So I like him. He looks like he'll be solid. Jimmy Marshall's a 7-1 center out of Washington, Maryland. Playing time, and you can see, evidently the AI does not spend a lot of time delving into calling players. So just something to think about. Inside shooting, he can step out, probably a mid-range jumper at best, but he's he's Shaquille O'Neal at the free throw line. He can score, he can pass a little bit, but he's not a ball handler. Can't rebound, average defender. Okay, the C defending is actually not bad because I think C or better is is what we're shooting for here. They do sign another two, another point guard, six foot five, J T Morrison out of Sandy Spring, Maryland. Really good outside shooter, free throw shooter, big score, big passer, average handler, and B athleticism. So I think we got three pretty good recruits out of that. I think we did. We've got three scholarships left. All right, so let's go to our full, let's go to our call and watch list. All right, so this is who they've got. We've got these guys have made a visit. These guys have made a visit. Now, does does anybody have a scholarship? Doesn't look like it. All right, so we need to evaluate our roster. All right, so we've got four point guards now, but we are going to lose two. But we've already signed one. We had a we had a two guard. We had a two guard. We had a point guard and a center. You got to write that down or, or I will forget. All right. So back into here. Oh, and we, we were going to look at the roster. That's right. So we've got four. We're losing two, but we already have one inked. So we're not going to go after another point guard because that gives us three underclassmen or two underclassmen and a junior in Zach Benton next season. 
All right, we've got a two guard coming in. So we've got three now. We're going to lose two. So I could use one more two guard potentially. Small forward, we've got three. We're losing two. So I need a small forward like really bad and maybe two, maybe two of those. I've got two underclassmen, and then I've got, uh, I'll have a fourth center. Now, John Bailey's not really good, but, so I'm thinking a power forward is going to be, so one more two guard, one or two small forwards, and a power forward. So maybe we're going to look at front court players really hard here. All right, well, Doug Burke... He's warm. CCA scoring, passing, rebounding. His defense is below average. Uh, he does not have a scholarship offer yet. All right. Gregory Carter, I really don't need another point. Really don't need another point. Eric Bass, 6'8". Now, he is a small forward. I need one of those. He can shoot, he can score, he can pass. He can't play defense, but you know what? He is cool. Let's watch film and offer him a scholarship. And let's call him up. All right. So we got a little information out of him. So let's take another look. So it looks like location is his big thing. He is in Maryland, which bodes well for us. So we're going to go ahead and offer him. All right, we have a two guard. I could use one of those, but let's look at Andrew Conley first. Big inside. Oh, he's a big shooter inside and outside, but he's not a scorer. I don't know what that means. All right, he can pass. He can rebound. He cannot play defense. But you know what? I need a four. He's got some, let's look at uh, Chris Young. Ratings not scouted. Okay, what's the deal here? Chris Young, <clears throat> let's watch film. Host a recruit, which he said no to. All right. Conley, let's watch film on him. I think I'm going to go ahead and offer Conley. Let's dial him up. We're in the top three. Location is very important. All right, let's revisit him now. All right, so location and playing time. Well, we already know that we're losing two, two of those guys up top, so there will be room for him. So we And we're number three. All right, so we've made our offer to him, and we've got one left. So... We've offered a two. We've offered a three, I'm sorry. A three and a four. So I either need a really good two guard or another small forward. Is he worth pursuing? He can shoot. His parents like location. I think we'd have a shot at getting him. Six foot five. Parents are interested. Now we don't know about control, but... If they have any say-so, he'd stay close to home. Inside, outside, scoring. It's really the defense that's putting me off there. But he is interested. So you know what? Let's go ahead and offer him. And these guys are already on my call and watch list. All right, let's go to the full list. Uh, only available players, please. And we're only going to look at forwards. Are these guys on my... Okay, he is not. Yes, it's the B button. I forgot. I was trying to remember what it was. All right, Kareem Burgess. We're just going to go down and fill up our... Terry Martin. Oh, Eli Head. And Jamie Richardson. All right, he's already on it. And either all these guys are already on it, or I have now filled up my call list, call and watch list. All right. Um, and it looks like that's the quick keys, but you can turn that off if you don't want to do it. 
All right, where are we at? November 13th. So that's the early signings, which we got three players. We've got three more that we're going to have to go late into the season on. Now, again, you can go into the options here if you are so inclined. And you can turn this on. This, this will let the CPU manage recruiting. And you know what? We had talked about doing that. So I'm going to do that. And this option controls off-season activities and recruiting, both in the off-season and during the season. So we're going to do that. All right. Now, the next thing I want to do, let's go to our dashboard. And our first game is November 14th, which is tomorrow. So let's look at our roster. And wow, our... Uh, our point guard here got downgraded a little bit, did he not? As did our small forward. Interesting. All right, so if we look at this, we have Benton's the better shooter, better at free throws, not quite as good a passer as Nesland or McCray, but he's a better rebounder as well, equal in defense, Tops in steals. What is DI? Come on, give me a mouse over. Tell me what the hell that is. I don't know what DI is. Discipline? All right. So, outside shooting. How your current can be better than your potential, I don't know. That's interesting. Passing, ball handling. All right. Now, what is he good at? Motion, high post, Princeton. Remember, that's what we were training in the offseason. So, motion, high post, Princeton. And then we've got the zones. And then man-to-man, -man, the 2-3, 1-3-1, 1-2-2. Two, one, 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 two, two. All right. So, if I go with him as my starting point oh we have brian laws too i forgot we have a oh wait no no no. there we are yeah i forgot about him he's he's down one notch so better see he's not as good a ball handler he has he has a little more upside according to potential but again how good are our scouts to tell tell that all right so at two go i still think i want to go with benton there so I think we want to go Benton and then Laws. <coughs> all right, let's look at our depth chart. I want to AI suggest all. And it's telling us McCray. So I'm going to go Benton and Laws will be our first. So let's suggest Matrix off of that. There we go. All right, so that's what I want for point guard. All right, two guard, it has herd. So let's look at that. All right, two guard, we've got three of them. Herd's a senior. Owens is a senior. Bryant's a junior. So we've got a lot of experience here. And I think herd by far is the better player. But let's see. So jumpers, actually, Owens is a better jump shot player. Free throws is herd. Scoring is herd. Passing, handling it, he's not, but rebounding by far. So, yes, we're going to go with Herd. And then I guess, honestly, if I had if I had to pick one, ooh, I'd probably go with one of our point guards, to be fair. Uh, yeah, let's see what our depth chart says there. All right, so if we go with Herd there, it actually has Nesland, one of our upper-class point guards, as the primary two-guard reserve, which I like that. I like that. All right, so let's get back up to the next level, and it says Welch is who it's, go it's default. Remember, we did the suggest all, which put the depth chart in, and then we swapped out the point guard. But I agree with Hurd, and we're looking at Welch now. Not staff. Come on. Hit the right button. 
All right, we've got three guys there, two seniors and a freshman. I think they're all pretty even. We're already going with a freshman point guard, so I think we could build with a younger team this year and just give them game time to develop, but let's see. Smith is almost as good as Welch, but he's nowhere near as good at free throws. He is better at scoring, but he's the worst at passing. He's not as good at rebounding, and I think that's going to be the key here. And he's not a, 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 as good at defense either. So let's see, eight. Even, even. Blocks, steals. I think I could go either way. Laster's actually the better athlete. So let's see. Depth. Welch. See, it's got Laster as my number, as my four. All right, let's think about that. Let's go look at our roster for our power forward. Power forward is a weakness. We have two underclassmen, but we're going to compare against Laster here. So Skiffer and Rogers. And let me just kind of go through here. So Skiffer, Rogers, Skiffer big time, Skiffer, Skiffer, blocks, defense. You know what? He's a better defender as well. So I want I want Skiffer to play there. All right. So Laster and Skiffer. Now that means Laster is still going to come in at the four, Smith at the three. And Austin is who it, the game has picked at center. I think with his performance last year, that's probably the right call. We didn't have a new center come in. So Bailey's a better inside shooter. Austin's a better outside shooter. And Wilder is the better scorer. He can pass. Austin's better on the glass. Wild is slightly better at defense. Mm. Free throw shooting. You know what? I'm going to go with Wilder here, I think. All right, let's go. And all I'm doing now is the matrix. Once I make the decision, I, I do the suggest all to do the depth chart and the matrix just to see what the game, what the AI is saying. And then I can make decisions in the depth chart and then only do the matrix to reset my guy. And we're going to store that lineup. All right. So Benton, Hurd, Welch, Skiffer, and Wilder with Smith, Laster, Austin, and Laws, and Neslin coming off the bench. Uh, McCray, our senior, he'll be there if needed, but he doesn't look like he'll play a lot. All right, let's just kind of breeze through these screens, see if anything is there. All right, so we've got the three verbal commitments. We didn't make any staff changes. We've already looked at the roster, the depth chart, uh, recruiting class. There we go. All right, so we got number 118, 255, and 310. And we've got three verbals, so you can see that, uh, oh, this is cool. Okay, I hadn't looked at this screen before. So this gives us offers out to players and then known interest from players, right? So Burke, uh, Bass here, and Conley. All right, so good. And, of course, the higher-rated guy we're not going after, Greg Sura. Outside shooting. Outside of his defense, I like him a lot, but we really don't need another two guard. That's the problem. Don't need another two guard. All right, insights. We didn't even look at this screen last year, so we'll try to remember that. School info, we've already looked at that. My office. All right, don't finish last this year, so a little more realistic goal. Win 10 plus games again. And we've, we turned over, I've already done some recruiting, but I think the AI may override that once we advance. So we'll see. 
uh, practice plan. Oh, I know what I wanted to look at. Uh, let's go back into depth chart and all right, Benton motion high post Princeton heard motion high post Princeton a little bit because remember we just started adding that in at the end of last season uh, I believe it was episode five where I went in and we talked about uh, cards video from GM games cards did a video on settings and depth chart and and some strategy stuff so make sure you check out his video if you have any questions on that uh, Welch same thing skiffer motion high post princeton and wilder motion high post princeton so a lot of these guys are good at the shuffle from last year because that's what they had been trained in prior to my taking the job all right so strategy motion high post shuffle and princeton those are the four and that's mostly what our guys are really good at. We're going to still favor the outside, I think. Let's double check here. Roster. All right. Uh, so Benton, outside. Hurd, outside. Welch and Laster, outside. Smith, outside. Skiffer. Skiffer can go inside or outside. Wilder can go inside. So I think, let's go to balanced. I'm going to go balanced. I'm going to kind of let them go. But remember, the higher the set usage, the more structured you will be. I don't know. Our guys aren't that good, right? So let's go with a higher this year. Let's go 80% to force them into, into these strategies. Man-to-man. -man, the 2-3, three, the one, three, one that's mainly what we run. Uh, last, that one guy had some one two two that we looked at, but again, that was a carryover from last year. So we're starting that transition that we talked about last year into the system that I want to run, and we added that Princeton in because, remember, the Princeton, if we look at that, attempts to get as many layups and easy shots, and this was something that, Cards recommended, again, in his strategy video, for the less athletic, the less skilled teams. So, all right, well, let's do a little bit. Let's get a couple of games in. I don't think we're going to play a lot here, but uh, I do want to get a couple of games in the books. All right, today we're playing SIU Edwardsville. Uh, we are the road team, and we get torn up by 18 points oh man well we knew we weren't gonna win them all <laughs> but remember last year we at least started with a decent start all right taking a look here skiffer with four points four boards five points four boards for welch wilder went for 13 and eight benton four points four assists seven points four boards and we had 13 from austin off the bench 10 from smith neelan neslin and laster each with seven okay we'll have to look at that if these guys still you know outproduce the starters we may have no choice but it's one game we know the young guys are going to need some time to gel all right, we're on the road again against St. John's. We probably are going to get blown out this one. Mm, I mean, you know, eight points. I'm kind of happy with that. Again, it's a road game. We need to get some home games to really start evaluating that. Did we see any improvements? Skiffer, four points, five boards, seven and five for Welch. Four and three for Wilder. 19 for Benton. Wow. And Hurd with 13 points. Laws with 11 off the bench. Nesland with nine. He only had one assist, though, so he's he's not getting it all done there. All right. Um, nothing's going on there. Let's look at stats. 
All right, so Benton started two games, playing uh, 27 minutes a game. He's made he's shooting 52, almost 53 percent, 62 percent from three point range. Uh, let's see, do I want advanced stats? No, I think basic stats. All right, let's see, points 11 and a half, 10 for Hurd. Welch, Blaster, Smith, Chris Austin, and Wilder are both at eight and a half. Total rebounds. Wilder's getting a few more rebounds. Austin's shooting much better. So you know what? Let's go into our depth chart. I am going to make the move with Wilder and Austin. And we'll resuggest that matrix. All right. Back to stats. Anybody else jumping out? Benton's already starting. Uh, how about assists? Three to one. Laws actually has more assists. But he's not shooting anywhere near as good. So uh, I think Benton's our, power, our point guard going forward, uh, at least for what we have on the roster. So I want him to develop. Well, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. Um, this was mostly an off season, but, you know, and we're going to take a look long term this season, how the AI does with the recruiting. So, um, you know, that's one of the better things about sim management games is the recruiting or the hiring and, you know, stuff like that. But I still thought it was worth doing here in the early going just so we could get a comparison uh they've got, i'm pretty happy with the guys they've signed the three guys out of the gate uh let's see my office still looking for our first win all right houston baptist is a home game that's a winnable game i think pacific could be winnable technically i mean you know but I didn't expect to get blown out by Southern Illinois' Edwardville either by 18 points. Providence, oh, UTEP Miners. You guys know about them, right? If you haven't seen the movie Glory Road, check it out. Uh, Air Force, our rival. Yeah, on the books, man. Home game. And then uh, looks like we get into conference play right around here. Brian Laws is an unhappy camper, as is Chris Austin, probably for getting demoted. I don't blame him. And you know what? But we just switched Austin, yeah? So that should rebound. And Brian Laws, he may just have to suck it up. We'll see how that transpires. I haven't looked at those moods. Uh, profile... Playing time, not too concerned. Rating progression. I'm, I'm trying to see if there's anything in here about his mood to see what's causing that or anything else. But I don't see anything in his, I don't see anything in here. I guess I could try to call him, but, you know, not going to do that. All right, guys, well, hit the like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. Uh... Let me know what you think of the episode. Let me, let me know how you think we're going to do this year. And uh, check out some of my football manager videos. Guys, much appreciated. Keep tuning in. And we'll see you next time here at GM Games. Take care. Bye.